Hey guys, how are you? It's Adam Austin News and Insane Gaming 2010 here. Today I have another Boston Logan International Airport 1 to 400 scale airport update. Today we have a new airline starting service to Boston Logan, the second new airline of 2014, and that is Turkish Airlines, uh, with new one daily service from Istanbul with the A330 and some days the A340. I'm also going to have subscript titles below just in case, so I will have that so you can see where the aircraft is going and I'll just say where it's going but below I'll have information of what the departure time is and the gate that way I can make it quicker so anyway let's get right to it we'll go over to E first because that's where Turkish is at right now the time for this airport update is going to be around 8 p.m. so that's when the timing of this is over here we have the focus of this new video the Turkish Airlines A330-300 this aircraft is just hard standing right now while the international push is going on he arrives in Boston around 5 p.m. as Turkish Airlines flight 82 or 81 I'm not yeah either one of those and then it waits until about 11 p.m. 11:45 and then it heads back out to Istanbul so that's the Turkish right next to it we have the Emirates and the Emirates is at a hard stand as well over here we have Air France and Lufthansa the Lufthansa A340-600 arrived around 7:45 from Frankfurt and he's gonna head back out there uh, there's a earlier 747-400 flight, and that replaces the A340, which uh, operates in the winter. And Munich goes from the A340 to the 330 in the summer, which is a little strange. I'd have more frequency there in the winter than the summer, but I'm not. I, I don't mind. Virgin Atlantic over at one of the E gates. He just arrived from London Heathrow, and he's going to be heading back out there at around 9:50. Alitalia. Just got in from Rome, and he'll head back out there later. They changed the schedule last year, so he arrives later on, and that's nice to see. All right, so in the far back, we have a Porter Airlines Q400 getting ready for the final flight of the day out to Toronto Billy Bishop Airport. It was around 8.30, and he's just about to leave uh, early, and the Swiss Airlines, which you'll see in a second, is going to be coming on in and replacing him at the gate. Swiss we were talking about, he's just taxiing in after getting in from Zurich. He's the last international arrival out of the uh, heavies, and he usually arrives around 7.30, 7.45, heads back out, and he leaves pretty late, like 10.30. We'll go over to the British Airways and Aer Lingus gates quickly, and then move on to Terminal C. Over here we have British Airways and we have Aer Lingus. We have the Aer Lingus A330. Uh, in the back, he's going to be going out to Dublin. Zoom in on him. He's going to be going out to Dublin. Then the Speedbird 74, he's getting ready. Well, he actually just arrived, and he's going to be heading back out for the late night flight. British Airways 202, leaves at 1045. Going to be heading out to London Heathrow. And then last, we have the competing departure time with Virgin Atlantic. Uh, the BA Triple Seven Dash Two Hundred, and he's going to be going out to London Heathrow at around nine thirty. Move over to C. Over here at C, we have two JetBlue Airways A Three Twenties. Now that JetBlue has all of C, which is pretty nice, United has moved out finally. Uh, JetBlue should be modifying that area down by the United Gates, the north side. I, I call it the North Claw because JetBlue operated out of the south one, but JetBlue will now have both. So there's the Bubbles, he's going to be heading out to San Diego, I Heart New York, he's going to be heading out to Raleigh Durham, with continued service on Fort Lauderdale, of course. Um, 10th Anniversary is going to be heading down to Orlando. Dots is going to be heading down to Tampa Bay. Window pane is going to be heading out west to Las Vegas. Here we have two Harlequins. The first one is going to be heading out to Seattle, and the second one is going to be heading out to Portland, Oregon. So that wraps it up for C. No United there finally, which is pretty nice. So next time we head out, it will only be Cape Air and uh, JetBlue at Terminal C, which is good. I look forward to seeing how they changed it because the United area was pretty bad. We'll go over to the B and A side, and then we'll go over to the departures off of uh, the two twos, which is the pattern they're using right now. 
<laughs> Over here we have the B side. We have a Virgin, uh, Virgin America in the back. And he's just going to be overnighting. He'll go up to San Francisco in the morning. A new American 738 with the shark fin showing. And he's just going to be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. And then the 757 is going to be loading up for Madrid. That's seasonal and that's the only international route American still has out of Boston. That's on the 75. Over here we have a United A320. Now, United moved to a brand new terminal in B, and one of my friends, when he's already flown through it, he said it was really nice, uh, but I still believe C is going to be better once it's renovated. Over here we have a United 737-800 getting ready for a flight out to uh, Denver. And then we'll finish the uh, terminal side with a Delta connection and Brier 170 getting ready for shuttle service out to LaGuardia. I know that this is technically out of the A side, and I do have the A surrounded by B, but I really am not that concerned. <laughs> then I have a U.S. Airways 320. He's going to be heading out to Philadelphia. And then a Spirit. Here's Sun Country 738. Taxiing in after a arrival. And then we'll go over here. We'll do a panorama shot quickly. Voila. Delta A330 on 2 2 right, getting ready to uh, go out to Amsterdam. A little late tonight, like uh, 30 40 minutes late. And then we have a Delta 75 getting ready to go out to Paris on the parallel runway. Uh, usually they clear the Usually they do take off on 2-2 left sometimes, and usually it's after a 2-2 right's empty, so as soon as two, as soon as soon the uh, Delta flight to Amsterdam is up, he'll be on 2-2 left and ready to go out to Paris. Uh, this aircraft will go to Paris and then do a turnaround and come out to Pittsburgh. We have a JetBlue Mosaic taxiing past the Emirates and holding short of 2-2 right. He'll line up and wait until the Delta 75 that I just talked about is off of the runway, and then he'll take off, and then the Southwest will follow. Uh, JetBlue and the Southwest is going out to Midway. JetBlue, he will be going out to Chicago O'Hare. So that pretty much wraps it up for the airport update, guys. I thank you for watching. As you can see in this shot right here, you have uh, the new airline, Turkish, Emirates, JetBlue, Southwest, and then you also have Delta. For Hanad to come, and this is the second out of three new international airlines for 2014 so far for Boston Logan. So it's really good news. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed and uh, please leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you want. Thanks, bye.